Hello, strong people. Week one, day three of Northeast Regional Battle of the Bridge Prep. Secondary press day. I'm trim my mustache up. Secondary press day. We actually have close grip bench today. Um, we don't usually have that in the plant, plant so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I used to love bench. I don't really care for it as much now. Um, it does, I don't know, I feel like I can put up like 405 plus just about any day of the week at this point, maybe, but not like that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything in strong, man. Like just cause you can bench a lot does not mean you can overhead press a lot and vice versa. So I think we have sets of eight today, like three sets of eight and then maybe an AMRAP or something. Um, my coach told me I could use like a shoulder, a shoulder saver. Um, so like wrap something around the center of the bar to shorten the range of motion, but I'm not going to do that. Actually, I don't like, I don't like it. I prefer getting the full stretch. Um, it's just personal preference. Um, I like I was going to say something else. I don't remember. Oh, well. Um, my tooth and face feel a little bit better. I was swollen there for a couple days. I still feel that a little bit, I think. Because it's kind of hard to, I notice it when I talk. But, um, went to urgent care, got some antibiotics just in case it was infected and it's feeling a lot better. Still a dentist appointment on Tuesday. So I'm a little bit more upbeat today. I've been sleeping better. And my face doesn't feel like it's going to explode. And, um, I'm ready to lift some weight now. So, pretty much all I got to say. Let's get into it. You know what? I, I need to, um, I was thinking about this. I need to get some like royalty free music or, um, I don't even know if the, uh, power director program that I use to edit videos allows me to, um, put music in there unless I pay for it and I don't, I'm not paying for it. So maybe there's a free editor out there that lets me add like royalty free music just from their app. Um, because I know that I've been, I've been listening to music more. I went like all of Nat's prep without any, or all of Olympic city. Olympic City or Nats? Either way, I went through a whole prep with like no music in your plan, so you guys could just hear the bar and me uh, moving weight. And um, that was nice because I don't like muting videos. Like I don't like muting whole sets of mine just because I have music blasting. So I want to put something over it. That way you guys have something to listen to. So if you're watching this, let me know if there's an editor that has its own royalty-free music that doesn't suck that I can use because I'd like to put a little bit of something in there at least. Um, I haven't, I haven't looked that hard in power director, so maybe it's there and I just don't know, but, um, yeah, let me know. All right, let's do some benching. All right, well, bench is done. That went very well. I'm surprised. Um, I'm surprised that that weight moved for that many reps. I've that was, I've never done anything like that. Or have I? No, I might have done like three thirty-five for seven at one point, maybe. I don't know, but um, three, three fifty-five. I did on my last two sets. I, won't, I fully intended on sticking with like 315, 335 today. But um, 
315 felt too good, moved too quick, went up 335. That was, I still like, ah, I know, I'm pretty confident eight reps is there on the next jump. So I almost went up 10 pounds rather than 20 pounds um, total, you know, not per side. But um, I was like, nah, we'll just go for it. So we added 10s on each side, went from 335 to 355. I'm glad we did. Um, uh, the last set was supposed to be a plus set, but that plus wasn't happening. Eight was the perfect number, so I'm happy with that. It's tough to... Um, these press accessory movements, I don't always know exactly what to expect because I don't do them as frequently. They kind of swap out here and there. Um, you know, if it's like a standing log press or like an axle press, um, I do those enough that I know what to expect. And uh, because those, that's what's tested in the competition. So I, I just know it better than my, you know, accessories here. And I haven't done close grip bench in a while as part of the program. And, um, and some of you are going to be like, that wasn't close grip bench. I'm like, close grip bench is just a grip that is narrower than your wide grip. So any narrower and it's going to feel weird on me. Um, that's about the grip I would use if I was pressing, you know, an axle or a barbell overhead or whatever, have you, whatever the implement might be. Um, so I'm happy with that. I've never done 355 for eight at all. And I did it for two sets. So I can't complain about that. Um, next, I have dumbbell row. I hate dumbbell row. I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't like, I don't like rows. Um, I don't like barbell rows. I don't like dumbbell rows. I just don't like it. They, I, I, I don't feel, I just don't like them. I don't know what it is. They don't feel good to me. Um, I prefer like cable rows, um, low rows, low cable rows or something like that, but that's not what's programmed. So, and dumbbell rows probably have, I don't want to say probably, they absolutely, they have better carryover than, um, a machine would for a row, at least in the strongman world. I'm not saying machine stuff won't help obviously, but, um, free weights, we move free weights. We all, we never lift on a machine in a show, unless it's a Viking press, kind of a machine, um, but it's not, you know, it's not free weight. So, but everything else, maybe a car deadlift, I guess. But um, that's you know, few and far between. You don't see too many of those. I wish we'd see more. It's just a cool event. But um, that's enough complaining about dumbbell rows. I'm just going to do some dumbbell rows. I think it's like two sets of 10 and then a plus set. I don't know. I'm really bad at reading the program. I have to look at it like before every set to make sure I'm not messing up. So let's get to it.
All right, so I'm gonna call it there. I hope you guys can hear me over the rain. It's been absolutely downpouring here. And it's making a lot of noise. But, um, so what did I do? I haven't recorded for a while. I did the dumbbell rows. Those felt surprisingly good. Um, I think part of my problem is when I do dumbbell rows is I have my, um, my supporting hand, like the hand that's out in front. Um, I think I have it too low, so I'm not at a good angle, and it just feels weird. Um, so there I had it up on that wooden, my wooden block there, and it felt way better. I moved a lot of weight, at least for me. I don't usually go that heavy on dumbbell rows because they feel awful. But I felt a good pull in the lat on each side, so I'm happy with that. What did I work up to? I don't, remember, I don't remember what I even put on it, but yeah, I don't remember. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but um, dumbbell press on a high incline. My, my bench doesn't go any higher on incline, so that's that's as high as I get. Um, what did I have on that? Like 112 and a half, 115, something like that, whatever it is. Um, Kicking up, if you, uh, I don't know how many people have like loadable dumbbells like that, but getting them into position, like kicking them up is the worst. Because obviously there's no like, you know, regular dumbbells up there, urethane, whatever type of dumbbell you have in like your standard gym, they're way easier to kick up because they're flat on the bottom or top, whichever way you're looking at it. These obviously have a barbell sleeve on the end, plus you have the clamps to hold the weight on. So it's just, there's no, I try to um, fix it by putting, I have a, a few different types of 25s. I put my biggest set of 25s on the part that's going on my leg, so I have a little bit more of a surface area to kind of put put on my thigh to pick it up. And it seems to work. Still frustrating. I don't know. If, I'm not saying I could move more weight if I had regular dumbbells, but I don't know. I like them because they have good knurling and I can put whatever I want on the dumbbells for the most part. Um, I was happy with moving that kind of weight. Felt a little weird because I haven't done the exercise in a while, but I was happy with it. Um, and then I just did lat, uh, straight arm lat pull downs. I just, funny enough, I think I just saw yesterday. Uh, I think it was a video with um, uh, what is that guy's name? His name like Cooper Coop, the guy that had like home gym reviews or something. I think his YouTube channel is. Um, he was with Juji Mufu, who I've watched forever. I love Juji. Um, and he was um, reviewing, kind of reviewing, more or less just a tour of uh, Juji Mufu's gym. And he brought up the point about um, straight arm lap pull downs. And he had a, um, uh, oh, I don't even know what type of thing it was. But um, a lot of people use straight bar. And um, you're kind of limited on range of motion when you use a straight bar because you got to stop at your thighs. But um, if you use like one of those um, ropes, it kind of separates. Um, you're able to pull past your thighs and kind of, you know, so your arms are kind of lined up with your, um, the middle of your body, I guess, in a way. I don't know if I'm describing it right, but basically what I'm saying is I think it's better to do it, you know, kind of independently. Don't have both arms connected to one thing. So that's why I had one band on each arm. And I felt good. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I was shaking in the video. So that tells me that that's a weak muscle group, at least in that position. Which is not good because that's the position you're in when you um, when you stand up in a deadlift. That's the position you're in. So um, that tells me that I need to work on that that specific movement there. And um, it's going to be in the program for the next three weeks at least. So that's going to give me a reason, you know, a chance to improve on that. Because I do not want to be unstable in that position. Um, I think I, I have some bicep, tricep, general stuff, and then maybe a core exercise after this. Uh, maybe something else. I don't remember exactly, but I'm going to call the video here so I can just speed through it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I don't think I'm going to go to 580 Barbell this week. Um, I've been working a lot of overtime because I've been spending a lot of money. So, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. If you're going to spend a lot of money, you got to make more money. So, I think I'm still going to train, absolutely. My event day is just going to be in here. Um, it's supposed to be like an eight second farmer run and then, or yeah, eight second max on farmers and then uh, like a couple hundred foot runs after dropping the weight. And so I'm probably just going to do the usual marches in place in here, which I think is much worse, especially using these farmers that I have. I hate them. 
Um, and then some sandbags stuff, squats, of course. I still can't quite talk right. I have this gum, the gum that's like messed up in the back of my mouth, and I keep biting down on it whenever I go to like pronounce certain words, and it hurts. But um, so yeah, all in all, successful day. It's not over yet. I still have some work to do, but but that's all for today. I still have more stuff to do, but this is the end of the video. So until next time, go out, get strong, stay strong, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.